You have gears. such thing as a bad bull. Bull's got a mind of its own. He just does what he does, and when he does it good, well, that's where the clowns come in. They're the bullfighters. See, a bullfighter's got just one job, keeping 2,000 pounds of flying prime off the guy who just rode him. Sometimes you get the ride of your life, but sometimes you get hurt real bad. Sort of like with a woman. Sometimes it's a good ride. But sometimes those boys get hurt so bad they don't even feel it. Like my friend Virgil. He ain't felt nothing for a long time. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Virgil, I need your help. How do you listen to that damn redneck shit? God damn it. You know I don't do Waco, Brandon. Well, shit, Virgil, I ain't asking you to settle down there. It's only for a weekend. Why don't you call Stinky? Ah, he's a regular old mesquite now. Just try Jimmy. Jim Joe Lester? Shoot. He's available. He ain't worth a tit on a warthog, but he's available. What are you doing still standing here? <sighs> Waiting on an answer. You know, for the last 200 years or so, they made this stuff called saddle soap. Well, you see, Virgil, juice is good for the leather. It keeps them soft. That is why I do it. You ain't doing right, Virgil. Nope. You've been warring around these flea-like rodeos for half a dog's life. Mm. My God, you belong back on the circuit, boy. Mm. Now, my sponsors, uh, they want the top cowboys, but they ain't coming without good bullfighters. Virgil, I taught you clowning. And by God, you're still the best far as I know. I thought we both agreed on something, Danny. I thought we both agreed that that favor had been paid up a long time ago. It ain't been paid, not till you come to Waco. No. It's been paid, Brownie. Yeah. No. Half now. Half later. Oh. It'll be good for your soul, Virgil. Oh. Oh. The well, you'll have more than enough to buy a new mirror. Mm. No, don't look at it. Bad luck. 
I ain't going. I'll see you there. Welcome to Waco, folks. Want to thank y'all for coming out tonight. You're in for a great night of rodeo. We got lots of exciting plans for you, so sit back and enjoy yourself. You took yourself. the fucking and money. Now do the ride. fucking job. what his mama tells folks. Virgil, cut that out. Let's press right to the fool. Come on, everybody. Let's help him out right now. Get in, you get out. Get in, get out. You all right, man? Oh, oh, no. yeah. Thank you, bro. Someone's oh. falling in love with me. Don't you just love this job? Flexible hours. Interesting people. Sexy underwear. Virgil, how many lives do you have? I, I believe about nine. I think you used up about half of them on that old mother-in-law. Yeah, I, I believe I did use up a half on him. And then the other half I used up on my own mother-in-law. <laughs> coming out on our first night of competition. Remember, come back tomorrow night for some more rough and tough rodeo action. <clears throat> hey, Bart. Ah. Thanks for what you did out there. That's what they pay me for. The mighty fine clowning you done out there tonight. Been a while since I seen clowning that good around here. Maybe seven years or so. Yeah, I guess it's been about that.
Hey, Verge. Hey. Where'd you get that beer? I went straight down the road at the carnival. Heck, it's walking distance. Yeah. Maybe I'll go get me one. Well, you still got your makeup on. Well, I'll tell you, guess sometimes it's safer that way. <laughs> You're very attractive. <laughs> Why you wear that mask? <laughs> well, did y'all go to the rodeo tonight? Yeah, we did. Yeah? You gonna go to the rodeo tomorrow and see me again? I'm Here you go. Do. Give that to your mom and daddy. Take it back to them, okay? Look, mommy, I got it. I still haven't got that ego yet. Howdy, could I get a beer, please? <laughs> see you later. Thank Coming you. on seven months ago. No petrol cars in the street, no way. Oh, it's a stage she was singing to snow. She didn't run, she didn't harm. Well, I gotta say, Brownie. I appreciate your community service. Yeah, here you go. Oh. Virgil, come here, come here. Do you remember uh, Gil Acuff, our past, present, future sheriff? I don't imagine Virgil's forgotten me yet. How you doing, Gil? Well, uh, anyway, uh, Gil said that uh, he wanted to put on a choice rodeo before the election and uh, get the best bullfighter here, and by God, boy, we know you're still the best around. <laughs> yeah, real crowd pleaser night. Yeah, wasn't he, though? Uh, I'm just trying to earn an honest buck, Gil. Still a smart ass, too, eh, Branny? See y'all tomorrow. Yeah. You didn't say nothing about him being here. Well, that some bitch would rather eat nails and give me the time of day, Brownie. You just stick to what you're good at and let me run the show. I can't believe you're still paying him off. Listen, all I got is this carnival and rodeo, and I don't aim to let that man take it away from me. Now, you mark my words. His day will come. I don't want to hear about it, Brownie. His day will come. I don't want to hear about it. Besides, I gotta go take my face off. Well, take them both off. And thank you very much. Thank you. I guess you could say that. That's my brother's sometimes girlfriend. And she's crazy. But you must be crazy too, jumping on bulls like you do. I like clowns, you know. Is that right? Ma'am? 
ma'am, don't you know this is a hospital zone? Come on now, we don't want any trouble. Sorry. You're still hiding behind that clown mask, huh, Virgil? <laughs> really, don't do that. Let's just see what happens. Why don't we just talk about it first? What the hell are you doing here? See, Kate. You are such an asshole. No phone calls, no letters. You just show up here. I'm sorry about that, Don't Kate. you know each other? You, it was kind of short notice. Yeah, it was kind of short notice when you left, too. Can I just ask you something? No, you can't ask me a thing. What's going on? We're talking to the new clown. His name is... Chicken shit. Right, ain't that your name, huh? Chicken shit. How you doing, Roddy? Mm. I'm surprised on Gil that you come back. Roddy and me's twins. Don't you, uh, think we look alike? Teresa, come on. Ain't no time for both of them. I like clowns. I'm staying. Well, I hope you're not gonna get in the way, Virgil. No more games, Teresa. I said, let's go. Come on, Roddy. She's not coming. You better look out, because he is a bad seed. Virgil Kidder, you came back to the wrong town. Now, Virgil, you know damn well there ain't nothing I'd rather do than to kick your ass. Why don't you just move? Move. Fuck you! <laughs> hey, there's no need for that, Roddy. I don't need this shit. Come on, Roddy. Hit him. Hey, I'm trying to help you. Come on, Virgil. Hit him back. You are very dangerous. Hey, stop that. All right, all right. I knew this was gonna happen. Now, Roddy, you take your sister and get your ass out of here. God damn it, I'm gonna kick it. You best not fuck up when I ride, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'll kick your clown ass you so much you shake your hand, boy. You should have stayed away from here, Virgil Kidder. Some things never change. Yeah, well, he changed. He just want my autograph. Roddy and Gil's the only ones around here still think it's your fault. Well, maybe they're right. Virgil, you've only been in town for one day, and you keep hanging around these Jezebels, and you're gonna find yourself in trouble again. I ain't no Jezebel, mister. Come on, Virgil, I wanna show you something. Thank you very much. No. Thank you, Brandy. Jezebel. I have a rodeo to run. Why don't you find something you like and just leave it on me? I got that word. Don't worry about it. I may have a sleep. I know this bat. <laughs> Remind me not to let you operate any heavy machinery, all right? <laughs> mm. I got a great idea. Ooh. I love rodeo belts. Yeah, they're nice. Mm -hmm. I won that one. You? Yeah, so easy. <laughs> We gotta go back. No, no. You just keep driving. What are you doing, Tracy? Shh. We need absolute quiet for this. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Tracy, that's real good. Now get down. Hey. Get down. You right. Hold on. 
Teresa. That's real funny, Teresa. Sit down, Teresa. Now you know what it's like when I watch you fight bulls. Yeah, well, not exactly. <laughs> Where are we going? We gotta go to church. <laughs> you and me both. Have you ever known a vampire? No, I can't say as I get up this part of Texas very often, Teresa. Oh, they got them other places, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm one. I bet you are. You don't believe me. Yeah, I do. Show me your fangs. Uh, don't be uh, stupid. Let me see your fangs. I don't have fangs all the time. Just when I eat. So why haven't you attacked me? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Okay, all right. Does this look normal to you? Normal? No, I don't reckon I'd say it looks normal, Tracy. I mean, my skin, stupid. It's so pale and cold. Huh? It's special. What did I say, Teresa? All right, look, it's it's special, okay? Do that again. What? Touch your skin, it's special? Is that was special? Your special <laughs> skin? Speed up and slow down. Why? Excuse me, kind sir, but is this seat taken? What are you doing, Teresa? How fast you going? 45. Why? Just hold the knob. Teresa, don't get crazy. Well, that's it. Just let the car do the work. Teresa. Getting a little crazy, Tracy. Don't slow down. There's a truck in front of us. No, don't, don't slow down, don't. One hundred and seven stitches, huh? Yeah. Did a bull do this? Huh. Well, what'd you think, did? I don't know, a shark, maybe. Girlfriend? Well, I ain't never been to the ocean, Teresa. What are you doing? Virgil, I gotta get out of here. I can't. I can't. I can't be out in the daylight. What?
If the sun comes up on me, I'll die. Come on, everybody knows that. Why don't you go slack on that vampire shit, Teresa? Listen, listen, listen. Come here. Come here. You're just drunk from the mezcal. Come on. Here. here. You're not gonna die. Open the trunk. Okay, I'll open the trunk. Lay down, lay down. I'll close it. I'll close it. Hey, I'll just stay here all day long till the sun goes down. All right, Teresa, I'll watch the car. You're a nice man. I won't ever hurt you. You sure you don't want to just ride up front with me? Fuck! No! No! God! Damn it, close the door. Close it. Close it. I'll close. Teresa, come on, get up. Come on, it's me, it's Virgil. Get away from me, Gil. It ain't Gil, it's me, Virgil. I know the truth. I'll tell. What? I'll tell. Jesus. Special extra spicy. Ray, give me a special double X. Yeah. Coffee. Sure. Thank you, darling. How do you want them eggs? Over easy like your dreams, or all scrambled like your real life? 
Might ought to have them raw and runny. Ray. <laughs> I heard you was causing some trouble last evening. Ooh, looks like it got the best of you. Not really. Can I get some coffee? Uh, get it yourself. Thanks. You're welcome. Jitter. Take a bite. Go. Oh. Huh. Take it. Oh, You've got four bites left in four minutes. bothering you. No. Say, do you remember Bertie Kidd? That's who you are. I thought I recognized you. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you without your clown get up. Hi. Hi, sir. Isn't he pretty? Virgil was the one who was clowning when I had my accident. No kidding. Couldn't really tell you who was to blame. See you, boy. Thanks for my coffee. Oh, sure. That's this asshole, to be sure. Same way you got to be my brother. No opposition. <sighs> Sorry. Don't worry about it. We haven't been close for about 20 years. Oh, hey, sweetie. Hey, Mr. Bolin, how you doing? Oh, it's all over. I reckon I'm here, you know? <laughs> yeah, you are. Mr. Bolin, you remember Virgil Kidder? He's, he's clowning over at the rodeo this weekend. Virgil, Mr. Bolin? Howdy. Howdy. Hell yeah, I know exactly who he is. The body might be in symbols, but the mind damn sure ain't. Bobby. Come on, Bob. Yes, sir. There you are, eat it. Boy, he sure does love those lights. You said he, uh, has anybody ever finished one of the 72 ounce steaks here? Well, that's what I give those young cowboys, see, to come in so they can help me pay for my overhead here. <laughs> you want one? I don't have much appetite. <clears throat> well, I see the rodeo tonight. You gonna come over there? Well, I can get someone to fill in for me. I hear Roddy's leading in the bull riding. Is that right? Yeah, he's a real jerk. <sighs> yep, that's my son. Yeah, I should have remembered that. You finished? Yeah, you know, I think I am. Let me pay you. No, no, come on. First meal's on me. No, really. Come no, on. seriously. I... All right, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Take heart, darling. Hell, you haven't insulted my daughter yet. Yes, ma'am. Well, maybe uh, I really should pay. Come on, get out of here. Come on, you can pay next time. Better yet, you can buy a pie at the bake sale later today. It's for a good cause. Thanks, Kinsey. You're quite welcome. Virgil, welcome back. Thanks. Hey. Who the hell hit the car? Teresa, you hear me? Teresa! Damn it, it wasn't close. 60 minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah, that was our gas money, too, man. Oh, that's a meal. <clears throat> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you know Teresa, She just disappeared into thin air. See you later, Virgil.
happened, Virgil? Where? What are you doing? I'm leaving. Well, you can't do that, because we, we, we got an agreement. Fuck the agreement, Brownie. But you ain't stayed long enough to earn your keep for the money that I already gave you. Look at my goddamn car, Brownie. Fuck it, yeah, Waco. Huh. It ain't Waco, Virgil. Goddamn fender pinch up on a tire. Help me pull this out. Well, if, you, if you stay to Monday, you have more than enough to fix it. I'm gonna get some breakfast. Oh. Thank you, Brownie. Don't choke on them eggs. Virgil. If it ain't the sweetheart of the rodeo. Can I have a corn dog? Who's that? You remember that night on the tilt a whirl? He looks a lot like you, I think. Go and tell Virgil how old you are, honey. Almost seven. Old enough to ride the tilt a whirl. Tilt a whirl. Don't you think he looks like you, Virgil? Virgil? Virgil. Them horse flies uh, eating early today. <laughs> That's cute. Come here, sweetheart. Hey, Danny, would you taste one of these cookies? I think I might have put too much baking soda in it, and I don't want to embarrass myself. Mmm. Wow. I do declare, these are the best cookies I've had all year. <laughs> oh, thank you, Scott. <laughs> hey, Millie, I'll see some. Mind your manners, girl. You're not gonna hit me in here, are you? You got a lot of nerve coming here. Yeah, well, Kate, what I was trying to explain to you last night was I really did try and call you a couple, three different times. And actually, I, I wrote you a letter. But I just, I never seemed to get it mailed, I guess. Hmm. You never were very good with excuses. No, I guess not. I don't guess you want to go for a ride on the Tilt-A-Whirl later, do you? Picnic? Mm-mm. Wouldn't be all that dangerous to go swimming down at the bridge, would it? Everything is dangerous with you, Virgil Kidder. You know, you were a whole lot more cooperative in my dream. Now, that is one I admit I have not heard. I gotta go back and clean up and get ready for church. Church? This is Saturday. They got church in here? At my church. Oh, that's right. You're one of them Seventh-day churchgoers. I forgot that. Yeah, and you ought to try it sometime, Virgil. It might do you good. Yeah, probably would. Yeah, you, you go ride, is that what you said? Mm. 
A few boys will. Excuse me, I'm gonna get me a couple of corn dogs. Take a fist for me, will you? Cowboys, or there's gonna be hell to pay. I don't give a shit about cowboys. I like clowns. And that includes Virgil Kidder, too. I'm warning you, there's gonna be hell to pay. Now you're gonna get out of here. God damn. Well, I hope you like you. Your corn dogs, well done. Riley, what uh -huh. are you doing in my car? Mmm. Damn. I ain't half bad with mustard on it. Riley, get out of my car. You know, that might be the best damn corn dog I ever put in my mouth, really. I mean, that's good stuff right there, boy. You, uh. You, you want that last bite right there? Get the fuck out of my car, man! God! Fuck! Ugh. Look! You had Kate, and I had your sister, so that makes us even, all right? Shit! Oh, God! Get yeah, right. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Last chance, Roddy. Don't fuck with me. Huh? Huh? Fuck! Oh, you don't fucking listen very good, do you? Oh, what the fuck you got against me? But someone just filled you with a bunch of horseshit. You ought to think twice before you mess up in my town, especially since I let you come here. I ain't crazy about getting stabbed, Gil. Don't push me, Virgil. I could always use another renter down at the jail. Now, Gil, don't go get yourself all worked up in the dither. Let him go. Don't you tell me what to do. Damn! You boys go on now. Hey, Roddy. You go get yourself cleaned up as good as that truck of yours. Don't you ever try to embarrass me again. You know, Gil, one of these days, somebody's gonna come along and knock you off that high horse you built for yourself. And who's that gonna be? You? Well, if I was you, I'd spend an awful lot of time looking over my shoulder. That's all I got to say. I've talked to him. <sighs> you bet you will. Virgil, oh. I can't have you sitting in jail. Oh. You stabbed me with a damn corn dog stick, Brownie. I know. And I, I'm sorry. Now listen here. Let's just get through this weekend, and I, I don't. I, I'm not going to contribute anything to him anymore. Oh, he'll be thrilled to hear that. Well, I'll figure something out, but you just can't let him get you over a barrel. Where are you going? Church. Church? Roddy tells me your daughter was... Out all night with Virgil Kidder. She's got a name, Gil. I just don't think she should be running around with the boy. You know, being a, a transient cowboy and all. Well, that's your opinion. <laughs> yeah, you're damn right. That's my opinion. I just got done breaking up a scrape between him and Virgil because of her. Good beat wasn't any of Roddy's business. 
She's a wild animal. Oh, well, that's as nice as I've heard from you. She thinks she's a goddamn werewolf. A vampire. There's a difference. Well, don't you think that's just a little bit strange? Hey, it keeps her out of the sun. God damn it, Sadie, I'm serious. Maybe it's her way of dealing with life, Gil. I'm concerned she might hurt the family. You bastard. You... Get out! Not you, Mr. Boland. Can you give us a minute, Aubrey? Department business. You get out of here. Come on in, Mr. Boland. I'll get you a cup of coffee. Real good, Aubrey. Counting on your vote, Tuesday. Sure, toy runs that two faced son of a bitch out of office. Me, too. Hey, Sadie, you coming over to the ski shoot this afternoon? Wouldn't miss it, Seesaw. Well, Sadie, you've killed more in that skillet of yours than you ever did with a gun. Oh, Mr. Boland. <laughs> The things you say. <laughs> well, now, you're putting your life back together. Let me use that hammer. You no, know, Junior down at uh, Wesher's garage said he'd give you a fair price to fix that car. Tell Junior I just need a good tire. Well, she'll come around, Virgil. And maybe this time you'll be ready. Yeah, give him a hammer. I got work to do. Good evening, folks. Tonight begins round two of three rounds of rough riding cowboys with some of the rankest bulls in Texas.
Virgil. I want to show you something. Look how tired, Teresa. Why don't we just talk tomorrow? What are you doing? I said I want to show you something. Something. I saw him last night, Teresa. Then I'll have to show you something else. Give me the keys, Teresa. Teresa, give me the keys. <laughs> Why should I, huh? Because I said, now give them are to me. Are you planning on going somewhere? Yeah, I was. <laughs> give me the goddamn keys, Teresa. Teresa! Hey, you want some supper? It ain't corn dogs, is it? I thought you liked corn dogs. Uh, yeah, well, I guess you can get too much of a good thing. How uh, come cowboys are always dirty and bleeding? I thought you asked me up here to eat. Thanks. <laughs> it's not bad for the left side of Texas. Huh. Are you still, uh, working at the dress shop? Hell no, she went under seven years ago. Half, Half a dog's, dog's life. life. <laughs> Where'd we learn that? Brownie. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Brownie. So, uh, I was thinking about leaving town then, but I got this pretty good job down at the car dealership doing their bookkeeping, so I thought I'd stick around for a while. I'm still living up above the old bank, though. You and Roddy serious? Come on, Virgil, he's just a kid. Thanks. I haven't been on one of these things since last time you and I were on it. It was this car, too, number 19. That's how old I was. I was kind of sorry to see it right in, Kate. That was your choice, Virgil. Could have been different. I used to dream about that house down on Cullen Street. Eh, kind of lost its appeal. Kate, I was thinking that, uh... Maybe I could just talk to Chance. What? Well, I have something I brought up with me. It's my old Red Rider rifle. I was thinking he might like it. It's a little late for gifts, Virgil. What? What are you, what are you talking? What did I say? Wait a minute, Kate. Virgil! I've been looking all over for you. Not now, Teresa. Kate, wait a minute. No. I will not wait a minute. You still don't get it, do you? I needed you. Ch Chance needed you. And someday, you are going to need somebody. Virgil! I got your keys. Just put them in the goddamn car. Well, you know, I'd like to. But I can't. You see, I stuck them down here, and I kind of need your fingers to do the walking. Again. She needs you, Virgil. I don't. Give me the damn keys, Teresa. Mm -hmm. Give them here.
Give me the keys, Teresa. Come get me. Give me the keys. I just ran about a half mile, Teresa. Now give me the goddamn keys. Give me the keys, Teresa. Get on home. Don't you tell me what to do, you sorry excuse of a man. I'm tired of your trash talking now. I warned you about these horse pills, Teresa. What's this? gonna be real happy when I tell her about this. My mother is never gonna know about this and you know it. Give me that back. Oh, you're crazy. You're a crazy girl. She doesn't deserve to have a daughter like you. I know all about you and you are going down. And when everybody else finds out about this, you're gonna have to move all the way to Fucklahoma. Like you could end up in a ditch somewhere and nobody didn't think twice about it. Remember me? I was throwing up over there yesterday morning. I ate that big steak. Yeah. Ain't it kind of inconvenient to tape your trunk shut? 
I didn't do this. Oh, yeah. You're the one been seeing that crazy girl. You need something? No, go ahead. Holy shit. Better give up trying to win that free steak, cowboy. We had a meeting at 10.30. It is if you threw beating up on that car. Hey, how you doing, Virgil? Hey, Gil. I, uh, I got a problem here. No. Not you, Virgil. Gil, you know Virgil's hot-headed. He ain't got the heart to do something like this, and you know it. Don't you start with me. Gil, I'll get you my report later today, but I gotta tell you, in my experience, a stake through the heart is usually fatal. Now, Gil, I ain't squalling over chicken feed here, and I ain't no way that boy did that, and you know it. You want to avoid questions coming your way, you cut out your own tongue. That boy's as alive as a dead man. Brownie says you don't, you don't like the idea of being in jail. Yeah. Now, you might have should have thought of that before you killed that sweet little niece of mine. You might have talked to Rowdy about that. He threatened the both of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Virgil. That's half your problem. You're always blaming somebody else. We blamed that some cowboy for that assault and battery last time he was here. Truth being, he's just talking to Caitlin. That's more than you ever did. Ugh. Uh. Uh. Uh, you run out on your own son, wife to be. What kind of man are you? Son of a bitch. You're no good, Virgil Kidder. And I'm gonna make sure you go down one way or another. Oh. Oh. You have got to take responsibility for your actions, Virgil. That's what this is all about, isn't it, Gil? Huh? You want me to kiss your ass? Well, it ain't gonna happen. You took the fucking pinky rap, Gil. And you took my ride away. <coughs> Permanently. Sheriff. Corner's on the phone. Oh. Good. When I can see Lawyer Gill. <laughs> Sunday. All our lawyers are in church. Praying. Uh, God bless you. I'm sure sorry to hear about Teresa. I know. I loved her. I know you did. <sighs> if there's anything that I can do, anything at all, you just, you just call me. Mm, I will. I will, Brownie. Thanks. <sighs> you know, I, I hate bringing this up now, Sadie, but 
Boy, there's just no way on God's green earth that Virgil did this. You know, really, Brownie, this isn't, this really isn't the time for that. I know. I don't care. Well, I just wanted you to know because I think Gil had something to do with it. I found this underneath the, in the trunk of Virgil's car. You know, Virgil, I gotta say, Brownie's got me feeling a little sorry for you. You get hooked up with a mixed up girl like that. Things are bound to happen. Maybe you are just naive enough to believe what she says. You know, Mexico's got some great vacation spots. Relax. Recover. Retire. I'm gonna go see how Sadie's doing. Right. If that son of a bitch so much as sneezes, you blow his fucking head off. No question. You got company, so I'll take off. Call me if you need me. I will, Brownie. What are you doing here? Just paying my respects. Spoil the fun, though. People like to feel good in the voting booth. No, I gave it a second thought. Good for you. Hey, deputy. Hey. Sheriff gets back, he'll probably just kill you. Uh, Mrs. Mullins, would you set that aside, please? It's Katie's favorite, and I thought I might go see her this afternoon. Would you excuse me, please? Oh, certainly. Who's mine in the cafe? Ray. I've never known you to go out without your boot tip on before. Must have come off last night. I think it was one of my lucky tips, too. How's Roddy doing? Fine. Good. When it's good. Have a good chance of the bull riding tonight. You never change. Sis. 
You have always only cared about yourself. How can you not care? How can you not feel? Sadie. Just leave my house. Just leave my house. Yes, Roddy's bull riding tonight. Does that make you proud? He's just as insensitive as you are. <sighs> Must be a family trait. Thank you, Wanda. Sheriff Acuff? When? Well, you stupid. No, 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 no. You stay there. I'll be right there. Kidder's escaped. what it means to pull the trigger! Do ya? Should we call the Rangers? No. What's going on? Why didn't you answer me on the radio? Oh, Kidder knocked me out. Oh, you two are up here. <laughs> if this boy gets out of town, I am going to be very unhappy. You're going to be here all alone. So don't fall down. All right.
Hey, I'm unarmed, all right? I don't got a gun. Look. Got you covered. And turn around slowly. Shit, kid, you scared the piss out of me. What the hell's wrong with you? Damn! Hey. Hey. I shouldn't talk to you like that. All right, I'm sorry. Hey, come on. Cowboy can't cry. Let me see that shooting iron of yours, Pecos. Whoa. That thing looks almost real. You scared me with it. Why well, I wish I had one like that. Ride today? Yeah. All right. Oh, you mean on account of Teresa? No, I mean, she's where she wants to be, so, hell, I reckon I can be where I want to be. Roddy, you're one hard nosed son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Teresa said it was probably genetic. Yeah? How's that? Mom told her our dad was a rodeo man. Yeah. Could be, I suppose. Well, you must have known him, I mean. You guys rode about the same time, didn't you? Yeah. How'd you get the damage? Pissed me off. I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be good this afternoon. See you after the rodeo, you. Good luck. Thank you. Food. You could call me. What are you doing here? Well, I was on my way to Mexico. And I run into chance. I just had the shit kicked out of me. And they may fucking lock me up. But I gotta know what the hell happened here. Honest to God, Virgil. I really thought you knew. Oh, I didn't. Chance took cold right before her second birthday. The doctor didn't even seem concerned. He'd always had allergies. And they finally did an x-ray, and his, his chest was all eaten up with cancer. He held on, though, right until his fourth birthday party. And two days later, he was gone. You know that little guy? <laughs> he never once complained, not once. I'll come back. Why? <laughs> so you could be with your son on his deathbed? No. You didn't deserve to be there when he died.
Virgil. I can't manage any more trouble with you. I won't tell anybody you were here. Will you please go? Please. They found her body in your goddamn trunk. Patrice is alive when I left her, Kate. It's your boyfriend, Roddy, that was threatening everybody. You're not making any sense, Virgil. Roddy ain't gonna up and kill his own sister just because he doesn't like you. Somebody fucking did, Kate! You could have been halfway to Mexico by now. I'm going back down the store and get my cat some food. You best be gone when I get back. If you didn't do it, I suggest you get up and do something about it. Virgil? Hey, Sadie. Did Gil do that? Yeah, I guess I caught him on a bad day. Son of a bitch. Mm. Virgil. I know you didn't kill Teresa. Get out of here by the time she got back. Hey, Lynn! Get in there. Get in there. Hey! She's not here. What are you doing here? I brought her her favorite pie. Rhubarb. Virgil Kidder? No, I sure haven't. See that boy, you let me know. I got my purse. Hi, honey. Hi, how you doing? How you holding up? Pretty good. Okay. I, I brought you a pie. You did? Yeah, your favorite. Rhubarb? Come up and have a piece. Oh, uh, I can't. I, I really have to go somewhere right now. All right, I'll see you. Okay, bye. Bye. Millie? Come here, you kitty cat. Hey, kitty kitty, is that you? Jesus. Just make believe it's our first date. I thought we didn't do this till our second date. Where'd you get the jersey? Ain't gonna help you, Virgil. Oh, really? Well, tough guy, I don't think you got much choice. <laughs> Virgil, I'm not afraid of that Woolworth six shooting cap gun. Don't look very real, huh? I bought one just like it for chance. 
I got another idea. I need some of your clothes. What, you're gonna dress like a girl? I'm gonna dress like you. I've got just the perfect thing. Stretch me. Huh? That's too low cut. I can't wear that. I'm leaving this out. You know, Kate, I was doing some thinking outside on that ledge. Yeah, it was probably just the altitude going to your head. Mm-mm. I was thinking about us. I should have settled down, Katie. <laughs> For sure. It's so late to think about that. Yeah, I made a lot of mistakes. I don't want to make them again. Virgil, don't. What, I can't kiss you? Well, it's gonna hurt. I missed you, Kate. Birch, I can't. Scared shitless, Lord. I don't know why I let people talk me into doing things like this. Please watch over my unworthy bones and get me through this. In one piece. Your prayers shall be answered, my son. Thank you, Lord. I know they will be. Up here. Lord? No, it's me, Virgil. I thought you was in jail. I was. I got out. Come over here. Come over here. God damn it, Clay. I ain't gonna bite you. Brownie talk you into this. Uh-huh. You ever done this before, Clay? Once. At Little Britch's rodeo. Come here. Let me give you a pointer. Look, Brownie put that goofy makeup on you, didn't he? Hey. Any of you boys seen Clay? God damn it, you can take that son of a bitch's brain, put it on the edge of a razor blade, and look like a BB in a four lane highway. You see him, tell him I want him, all right? God damn it. Clay! Also, tell Ronnie Henderson I said get his ass back here. Clay! Son of a bitch. Right now, you have Hey, Julie. 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 Count on your vote, Tuesday. 50 points for the bull, and 50 there. points for the cowboy. The harder they are to ride, the higher the score. Whoa there, boy. The new clown? You got some ID on you? <laughs> hey, good to see you, Aubrey. Don't come around here sticking your hand out for me to shake it. Hey. Ronnie, you're looking kind of skinny. Caitlin, that's mighty pretty today. Thank you. Hold it. Don't go yell on me out there, boy. You're a good writer, but bullfighting's something you gotta have in your heart. Go get him. Play the printer boy Cooper. <laughs> I think I'm playing these.
Coach down to the barrel here. Well, I guess it only needs one more other hold to get him out. A hard hooking bull with a hankering for a sharp dressed man. Play that bull likes the color white. Why don't you let him see that new outfit you're wearing? College of Baylor studying to be a minister? I guess he's got to handle about the best partner a bullfighter can have. The boy was so nervous earlier, I thought he'd been kissing his pants. That's no Virgil Kidder. Now, ain't that a tragedy? <laughs> well, it looks like we're ready for our first bull rider, Clint Jones of Turnville, Texas. He makes his home in Bandera. He's riding whitewater. Here's a big yellow whale that will do some belly rolls and get the rider down in a hurry. Oh, you pile of bat shit, my name Virgil. lately.
We all know about your recent tragedy with Teresa. Whose tragedy? Hey, sister, you've been carrying a heavy load. You're damn right I have. I've been carrying your secret around for 20 years. I'm warning you, sister. She figured it out, you know. She was a smart girl. She just wanted to know who her daddy was. And Roy, don't you be getting behind me. So you stay where I can see you. Sadie, you've been missing too much practice. Put the gun down. We just go outside here and talk, just you and me. Your boot tip was under Virgil's trunk. Son of a bitch! You stay out of this, boy. It's between your mother and me. Get out of there, boy. I'm not covering for you anymore, Gilbert. You tell them how you wanted nothing to do with your own kin. Tell them how you killed their real mama. You tell them, Gilbert. You tell them, Gilbert. Tell them, Gilbert. Yeah, I'm their daddy. I didn't kill her. It was an accident. Phew. And I didn't kill Teresa, neither. Well, somebody sure did, Gil. What do you know, boy? The coroner said she died from taking one too many of those horse pills. Tip, but it was, Brownie. What'd you do? Curl up in bed with him to get it? Hey. Huh. You're a free man, ain't you? I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I ain't. No more favors? No. Where's the rest of my money? Well, I hope you didn't think I was gonna cheat you out of it. No, I didn't think he's gonna cheat me out of it, Brownie. The thought never crossed my mind, but I'll tell you what. I thought about a lot of stuff when I was sitting in that jail. Virgil, Gil should never have tried setting you up, staking that poor dead girl. Listen, I got a friend. He wants you for Cheyenne, back on the big circuit. Now, do us both a favor. Don't blow it this time. Hey, Brownie. Thanks. See you in Amarillo. No rewrite for me in the panhandle. I needed a ride to the cafe to catch my bus. I was thinking maybe we could stay in touch. Right? Virgil, my bus is here. Anyway, I, I haven't seen my sister in ages. And it was good to see you, Kate. Let's just leave well enough alone. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Virgil. I'm sorry. <laughs> huh. Virgil, are you ever going to grow up? I doubt it, Kate.
I hear there's a tilt-a-whirl in Amarillo. No, I don't do Amarillo. Once you get your courage up Me, I've been planting posts and stringing wire All around this heart of mine Been staying in and hiding out I want to ride the wind one time Girl, I don't know what we're waiting for We both waited long enough Let the horses run Won't go traveling down that same old road We've both seen where that goes Let's head out for the open range Straight for heaven only knows Girl, I don't know what we're waiting for 